Hi everyone! Um, in this video I'm going to show you how I clean my makeup brushes. And what you'll need is some dirty makeup brushes and I got a whole bunch. Okay, the second thing you'll need is this dishwasher uh, thing. Glee stuff. Yeah, whatever you guys call it. My English kind of sucks right now, but whatever. The other thing you need is this oil. Um, just some cooking oil. It doesn't matter what kind of oil, just some sort of oil. Um, the, the third thing <laughs> that I use um, is this thing. And I will explain to you why later. Um, so I'm not going to bring it up now, but you'll realize why, why you need it. Okay, so here's what you'll do. Um, just pour some of the dishwasher thingy out on the plate. And don't use the oil now because now you're only going to wash uh, the brushes that you've used something uh, liquid on. Like for an example foundation, wet concealer, um, or eyeliner, or just anything like that. And then you rub it in in a circular motion. And really make sure that it gets inside of the brush so it gets clean. And now you're just going to do it with all of the liquid brushes. And then you're going to do it all over again when you're done with those kind of brushes. But now you're going to add the oil. Um, because now you're going to clean the powder brushes. And the oil will actually help kind of moisturize um, the hair on those kind of brushes. So that's why you're using the oil. Okay, now that we're done <laughs> with all the brushes, um, all you need to do is wash them out. So this is how you do it. Okay, so what I do when I clean out the brushes is that I just use the same circular motion that I did when I put the dishwasher thingy inside the brush. Um, yeah, and I really make sure that the water gets in there, but I try not to roughen up the, the hair too much. And then I just squeeze it out. And you could really see how dirty it was. Um, so yeah, I just clean it out like normal, and then I put the the one that I cleaned on a paper. So I just clean out every single brush like I did with the first one and now I hang them upside down. <laughs> uh, what I do is I just place it somewhere high and you can all do this in different ways but this is the way I do it. So the best thing to do is to hang them upside down and it's because the water is dripping downwards. If you place them like this when they're wet the water is going to come inside the brush and it may loosen up the glue which may cause it breaking, uh, more hairs falling out or whatever. Um, so just try to hang them upside down. It's a really good way for them to dry and to keep them clean and yeah. So if you want to have a brush and you want to have it longer than let's say like a year or two years um, yeah, you, you can, <laughs> because it won't get as destroyed if you do this. So this is just what I do. Um, I do this like twice a week or something. Um, there's plenty of ways to do it, so if you have any more tips, uh, just comment it down below. And yeah, just tell me if you like this video or not. And I also want to say that there's separate ways of doing this. Um, the powder brush or the, yeah. The ones that aren't used for, let's say, foundation or whatever, you can also clean them with, sham with uh, shampoo. That's really good for the hair on the brushes. And yeah, so there's plenty of ways to do it. And um, tell me if you like my way of doing it. <laughs>